Turnstile Glow On album review. Let's chat about it. Hey guys, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Here to chat about this latest from Turnstile, Baltimore based hardcore punk and post hardcore band. And for a while, I've been casually interested in these guys. I thought their debut, Nonstop Feeling, was a decent debut. This was a classic New York hardcore sounding album done pretty right. I mean, personally, I grew up as far as hardcore punk goes. I, I kind of grew up on the catchier side of things. I was much more interested in the likes of Gorilla Biscuits and Asian Orange. And that's what I was feeling here. Turnstile sounded like a band that had a lot of teeth, a lot of raw energy, but could write catchy hooks. Now, I had a lot of feelings on their follow-up album, 2018's Time and Place. Now, I had a lot of different feelings for their 2018 follow-up album, Time and Space. On one hand, tracks like Lost Another Piece of My World and Generator, easily some of the best turnstile tracks out there. But then I heard some of the deep cuts and they were so misguided and sloppy and just not my cup of tea. It made me feel like the band needed to like really step up their game. And from the sounds of these new singles leading up to this album, they have done just that. And with this album, Turnstile have arrived in a really big way and it's glorious. This album starts off with mystery. It's a very whimsical, hazy start that is just demolished and ripped to shreds by this cutting riff. Great meaty hook that just sounds like it would have found its place on a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater soundtrack. Now, this isn't your standard, typical, throwback, post-hardcore and hardcore punk track. This is a great expression and a great example of how modern post-hardcore can take big risks. Because there are some pretty interesting experiments on this track and through every track on this album. At the same time, though, it's just as guitar-driven and anthemic as I like my punk. Blackout is a little bit more on the books, but at the same time, a little not, which just seems to be a recurring theme on this album. It's a little bit more rough and tumble. It has this desolate feel to it. We also get some funky drums and a bass groove, but it never really gives up just the intensity of this track, and I love how catchy and big and glorious this hook is. Don't Play from a Distance also sounds like a throwback hardcore track by the books, pretty much standard. Uh, however, upon closer inspection, there's a lot of really interesting little details going on. Some weird left hooks. Noticing a pattern? This track has some legit funk metal riffs thrown in. There's some groovy passages as well as some great backing vocals. In a weird way, if you want to get into post-hardcore and hardcore punk and you need to take the big leap, albums like this may be like a good starting point. Oh, and not only that, but it's catchy as hell. And the groove elements that plagued the last album and sounded like a nightmare of 311 and, I don't know, some suicidal tendencies uh, actually come off really good here. Then we have Underwater Boy. I love the dreamy and hazy film over this entire album. Like, I hate to say it, but a lot of modern post hardcore bands they wouldn't be able to handle a sound like this like I can only imagine a handful of truly great modern bands in this style trying a track like Underwater Boy deep within an album and I would be really upset with it but actually this is pretty great it's also oddly adorable and catchy just saying all bets are off with this album I love the super tense riff on holiday and once again this very dreamy production that hazy production it, it sticks around throughout the rest of this album but it really sets turnstile apart not only that but it makes things much more thunderous when any cutting riff just comes soaring through it and yeah this track might be a little straightforward but turnstile own it and end up writing really catchy punk tune personally i needed a track like humanoid shake it up this is a straightforward nothing fancy hardcore ripper but like most of the hardcore that i love it's just catchy enough to stick with you then we have endless and Remember those really weird, off-kilter grooves earlier and some of the drumming? It's back with a sinister, meaty edge to it. But it's just as cutthroat as the rest of this album. This track doesn't hold back. And I love how anthemic and catchy and larger than life this track is at its chorus. What even is this album? I'm so happy. And pound for pound, not only is Fly Again my favorite single here, not only is Fly Again one of my favorite tracks here, Fly Again is one of my favorite tracks of the year. And yeah, it's probably the one with the most grit to it, but I love the echoey production. I love the thunderous chorus. Every time it rolls around, I just can't help but belt it out. Also, every single track on this album has its own unique, 
interesting personality. An alien love call featuring Dev Hines at Blood Orange? It's a weird track, but it really does, it really does work, and it's very true to its title. This is most certainly an alien love song. It's spacey, it's weird as far as just a far out thing goes. This is certainly one of the best here. And strangely enough, it sounds right at home on this album. And Blood Orange, in a weird way, makes this track kind of steamy. Now, if I had to nitpick, there are a track or two that just don't rub me the right way. If I had to nitpick, I'd probably say Dance Off is my least favorite track here. This riff is the biggest downfall. As a matter of fact, the entire instrumental is, I don't know, it's a mess of groove metal and whatever the hell Turnstile are trying to do here. And it's a shame because lyrically and vocally, I'm into it. And no surprises to me, just it's just a real waste of 40 seconds. Like, this is an interlude that we did not need here. Outside of that, though, Turnstile really delivered here. If this isn't the best album I've heard all year, it's probably going to be the second best album I've heard all year. Wild World is one of the most urgent and alarming tracks here. I love how the tight riff and the groovy drums just seem to be building something right off the bat especially with those echoed, distant vocals. And then this track just kind of takes off, and you know what you're getting. It's thunderous. It's catchy. It's cutthroat. By the time we get to New Heart Design, I don't know what I'm going to hear from one track to the next at all. This track is armed with a very playful, sunny keyboard riff. It's probably one of the least heavy tracks here. But in a weird way, it's oddly turnstile, and it's just as passionately performed and well-written as the rest of this track. TLC, or Turnstile Love Connection, on the other hand, is a really great late album treat. It's probably the most overtly hardcore thing here. This track has a real edge to it. But what even is this? Where are we in a post-hardcore and hardcore timeline that this sound exists? I'm so happy that it does, though. And Lonely Desires is a fantastic finale to this album. Uh, they bring in Dev Hines of Blood Orange once again. He takes lead vocal duties here for this track that just sounds like a dream punk tune. Psychedelic, it's hazy, all of these things shouldn't work, but they oddly do. It's an oddly charming and even more so timeless finale. If you're sleeping on this album, it's time to wake up. You see, for years, I feel like Turnstile have had a lot of potential to do something really cool. Well, with Glow On, they realize that potential. And not only do they do that, but they knock this album out of the park. This is a hazy mix of hardcore and post-hardcore that is eclectic, colorful, dreamy, hazy, and most importantly, not afraid to take risks. They do that on probably every track here. Not only that, but it's a collection of easily, easily the catchiest post-hardcore and hardcore tracks I've heard in years, uh, in easily some of the best singles I've heard of the year of any genre. <sighs> yeah, this album rips. I'm feeling a decent nine on this album, but let me know what you guys think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, guys.